a proud Kansan by the name of William Allen White uh, once said something to the effect that the truth will always come out if the facts are fairly and honestly on display. So let's review the facts. The facts are the sequester was the president's idea. It's a fact the House has twice passed legislation to replace the sequester with smarter cuts and reforms. It's a fact that the Senate has twice rejected our replacement and has set up another financial crisis. Uh, and it's a fact that the President threatened to veto any replacement to the sequester. It's also a fact uh, that these cuts amount to about 2.5% of the federal budget. Find me an American family, a hardworking taxpayer that hasn't already cut over 2% out of their budgets at home without cutting essential things. There's a fact that says that we are going to take in more money this fiscal year than we have ever taken in before. The budget this year, we will spend more money this year than we spent last year even if the sequester goes into effect. We will spend more money even if the sequester goes into effect. The fact is, when we accepted the President's sequester 18 months ago, we, we made a deal, a dollar for cuts for a dollar of spending or uh, debt limit increase. If he wants to do the bait and switch now, we will have lied uh, to our constituents by replacing those with tax increases. This leads you to the truth, and the truth is the President needs to uh, come back from his campaign-style tour, uh, stop scaring people, and work with us to address the issue of the debt and the deficits, get the economy moving, and people back to work.